Hello friends and welcome to the Cold War Pepper. My name is Lee. Uh, I got involved in long-term storage as far as freeze-dried foods back in the uh, 60s and at Philmont Scout Ranch we had the predecessor if you will of Mountain House Foods and it was pretty good but you had to mix it all together and sometimes you had to cook it even further. Uh, it, it could be kind of a little bit of a pain uh, but it was the one thing I like about it was the freeze-dried foods that you can get today are lightweight so they're ideal for a bug out bag or uh, for a get home bag, uh, either one. I like that, uh, especially if you can get them in smaller increments uh, instead of number 10 cans or number two and a half cans. Uh, so anyhow, I've been doing this for a long time. I even was a sales uh, a distributor for one of them. Uh, started that in 2009. I've been acquiring their stuff, but this is the other type of, that company is a different kind where you have to get ground beef and potatoes and whatever, mix them together, rehydrate them and then cook them over a stove. So it's, it's going to be quite a process and you're going to be giving out odors so that you're letting your neighbors know that you're eating when they might not be. Now remember, uh, you know, part of this food chain, food shortages are here, it's going to be an issue. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm preparing, most people say prepare for two years. Uh, because that's when how long it takes to get a crop established and you to learn how to do it and be able to be self-sufficient. Well, right now with the drought and with the heat, it's 108 degrees here in Austin today. So uh, my Brussels sprouts are dying, my, my strawberries are dying, my raspberries have already died, my blueberries aren't doing that well. I mean, a lot of my a lot of my stuff is is just going to the wayside because of the heat conditions and the drought conditions. And uh, my yard does looks like terrible because we're only allowed to water our yards once a week now. Um, so you know, I may at some point that may be just we don't water and we go to uh, Xeriscape. But anyhow, I found a company that I have fallen in love with. Um, two reasons. Number one, they have the right size packet. Remember, I'm the guy who says. Uh, buy as small an increment as possible for a couple of reasons. Number one, this makes it convenient to put in your bug out bag, makes it convenient to put in your get home bag. Uh, and uh, so that the, the other reason is they've got this down to a science. They've added 21 additional uh, vitamins and minerals and everything else to make it more uh, sustainable for you uh, above all the other freeze dried stuff that's out there. And what I like is the way you prepare it. And I watched, uh, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm following Alaska Prepper in how he did it. And he bought this uh, double walled, uh, seal down uh, container from Walmart that I guess it's supposed to keep your food hot for, for lunch, for a lunch container. And I bought that and I tried it with the lasagna. So uh, what you do is, and my, I think I have one lasagna left. Yeah, I have one lasagna left. And so what you do is you take this, you pour it into that container or into a pot or into whatever, add one quarter cup of boiling water, uh, stir it, close it up. That's all the cooking there is. Now you're just going to let it sit there for four or five minutes. And then when that's done, you stir it again and you eat it. And this stuff is great. Um, so I can recommend the hearty lasagna. That's the only one I've tasted so far. Uh, I need to take, I need to check out some of the cold water stuff like the creamy van, uh, chocolate and vanilla shakes uh, also got powdered milk now where should where do i think we should focus well i'm getting uh, canned meats canned fruits and canned vegetables right now but there are some things that just won't stay on the shelf that long that you need to have for long term and i'm looking at trying to get a seven-year supply and why a seven-year supply uh, if you go to integrative preparedness steve um, says the same thing. I believe the same thing because that's what Joseph did. You had seven years of plenty and then seven years of famine. I think we're starting that seven year cycle of famine now. Now, if you go to some of the Israeli channels and uh, go to Pastor uh, Jonathan Khan, he will tell you that we're at the beginning of a Shemitah, uh, which is a seven year period that's going to be another food shortage. So take a look at what's going on around the world. Uh, take a look at what's happening and uh, heat wise, 105 today in London. Can you believe that? Most Londoners don't have air conditioning because it very seldom gets above 85. Uh, but anyhow, I, I saw that they closed down the airport because it's so hot that the uh, asphalt is melting. Uh, that happened in Phoenix once when I was there. It happened at Sky Harbor where uh, tarmac gets a little bit uh, shaky when I was down at Fort Huachuca. Uh, but anyhow, love this stuff. Uh, I'm going to recommend you get butter. They have butter. Uh, and that's going to be your fat. Remember that that oil can go rancid. Uh, I'm getting their egg products and they have two wonderful egg products. 
So first they have the powdered egg blend, which is basically just a, a scrambled egg. And then they have what they call home style scramble. The home style scramble, I would call a mountain man meal. Uh, it's got bell peppers and uh, spices and hash browns and cheese and, and uh, uh, powdered eggs. So that all gets come together and becomes a, a hearty meal. And I love the fact that I'm not letting my neighbors know that I'm cooking, that all I'm doing is boiling water. So I have a Kelly kettle. And if I use something that's good, like a Trangia uh, stove that's alcohol, you're not going to give off that much of an odor. You boil the water in a Kelly kettle, it gets boiled real quick. You bring all that inside, you mix it inside, stir it, close it, and you're, you're done. So fantastic. Uh, some other stuff I've gotten in the triple cheese and mac, or yeah, triple cheese mac. Uh, this is oatmeal, I believe. Yeah, hearty cinnamon apple oatmeal. Uh, we've got the Southwestern medley, which is kind of a, a rice beans. Let me see here if I remember this is right. Uh, it is uh, three bean medley with bell peppers, rice, and a kick of paprika and jalapeno. So yeah, the, the rice. Uh, then some of the other things, I got, I got a whole bunch of their uh, uh, bar, candy bar, or not candy bar, but bar meals. So we got... Uh, we got their peanut butter bar meals. I ordered two of those. And then we got uh, chocolate chip meals. And uh, then we got, oh, what's this one? This is more chocolate shakes. So uh, that was my order for last month and it came in. This month I'm going to be doing more, um, focusing on, like I told you, uh, the dairy products. I want to focus, I'm going to get uh, one butter. I want to get uh, the vanilla shake, uh, a package of vanilla shakes. I want to get uh, a full package of the uh, uh, Homestyle Scramble, uh, this mountain man type breakfast, if you will. And so I want, and then I want the milk, of course. Uh, so butter, milk, eggs, and I'm gonna order that. That's my next order from them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the link down below because I'm now an affiliate with them. And uh, I'm going to use the, the code CWP, Charlie Whiskey Papa, and the number 10, CWP10. And that's going to get me a 10% discount on my full order. You can do the same thing. So if you're worried about not letting your neighbors know uh, what you're eating and when you're eating, you don't want to give off too much. You want to be kind of gray man, kind of stealthy in what you're eating. And you want something that's very healthy and nutritious that will keep you alive I'm going to recommend that you start partnering with Nutrient Survival and order something from them every month until we no longer have the ability to do that. So uh, this is Lee, the Cold War Prepper, saying this is a good deal. Check it out. Remember, we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Take care. Togetherness is the key. Bye-bye.